Today is Tuesday, 4th of July, 2023, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is, His Promises Are Fulfilled. Our theme scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 of the NIV, and it says, For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him, the Amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Hallelujah. God never makes a promise until he has fulfilled it. Pastor begins. Every promise was fulfilled in Christ. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him are men unto the glory of God by us. As you find in 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, so if God tells you something that sounds like a promise, he already fulfilled that promise. Let me explain it to you this way, Pastor says. Imagine he puts $10,000 in your account, then he calls you on the phone and says, son or daughter, I will give you $10,000 if you do X, Y, Z. Now, he only made that promise because he already put the money in your account. This is simple to understand when you realize that God doesn't have a future. He lives in eternity, all glory to God. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Oh, future for man is history with God, Pastor says. Praise God. Now, you can better understand Paul's beautiful conclusion in Hebrews 4 verse 3 that all the works were finished from the foundation of the world. In other words, before the earth was created, God had completed his work. Before you ever came on the scene, before your parents ever dreamed of coming together, God had known you and concluded everything about you. Amazing. Think about it. We are already in the month of July, but before we ever knew 2023 was the year of the prolific church, the Lord already put everything in place to make it so. What you require isn't to ask God to make you prolific. No, simply walk in the grace of that word. Hallelujah. Oh, with that grace, Pastor says now in conclusion, take your community, seize your city, and dominate your country for Christ. Flood everywhere with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let it be said of you as it was said of the apostles in Acts 5 verse 28. Behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. O oh, realistic Capri, and now meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts, please say with me, Dear Father, thank you for making the fullness of the blessings of the gospel possible and available to me in Christ. For all your promises have been fulfilled in him. Now, I walk in the light of my prosperity, my victory, my success, joy, peace, and all the blessings of the kingdom. For all are now mine. Praise God. All right, for further study, please see 2 Peter 1, 3 to 4 and 1 Corinthians 3, 21 to 22. Yes. We have entered into our inheritance in Christ. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ 
is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.